Good morning from the National Weather Service in Pocatello. This is your Southeast Idaho weather hazard briefing for Wednesday, August 17th. Looking at very hot and dry weather continuing through Thursday, with some monsoon moisture cooling things down on Friday with some increased chances for some precipitation. I'll be breaking that down for you this morning. Key ports we're going to focus on today, hot and very dry weather continues through Thursday with a heat advisory now in effect for large portions of Southeast Idaho across our lower elevations from noon until 9 o'clock tonight. Afternoon high temperatures will be in the mid-90s to low triple digits as you get towards the Magic Valley, leading to some moderate to high heat risk concerns affecting the entire population. Make sure to keep hydrated and take extra precautions if headed outdoors, and again, there might just be a chance for some isolated verga and showers along the Montana-Wyoming borders with an occasional lightning strike or two. Critical fire weather concerns also continue with a dry, unstable air mass supporting large smoke plumes on all of the wildfires currently burning in central Idaho with widespread afternoon humidities in the single digit to around 15% range at lower elevations. Winds do look to be light, though, staying less than 20 miles an hour, and ahead of that we will see that monsoon moisture returning on Friday. So what that means is there's going to be a slight chance for some isolated coverage for storms late in the day on Thursday, more isolated to scattered coverage, especially as we get towards Friday and through the weekend into next week. Take a look at satellite this morning. Mostly clear skies, so that's helping temperatures as far as to heat risk concerns. Overnight lows are going to be fairly moderate. I mean, the 30s and 40s in the mountains, 50s and 60s further down low into the valleys. But outside of that, it looks like afternoon highs today will soar about 40 to 50, even more degrees, especially up towards Stanley area uh, towards this afternoon with widespread highs again in the mid-90s to low triple digits. Weather is outlook for today, so have heat advisories in effect for the Snake Plain, Magic Valley, South Hills, and Wood River area, with above normal temperatures forecast to, through today and tomorrow. And the potential heat advisory concerns do continue as well into tomorrow. Be taking a look at that today to see exactly where that heat risk lines up. But we do have the chance for some isolated storms arriving late in the day on Thursday across the southeast highlands and south hills. For your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, isolated coverage for showers and storms across the Snake Plain and Magic Valley, but head out into the higher terrain, looking at some scattered showers and storms with a lot of moisture pooling up from the southwest, but it'll be over us and through next week. Take a look at watches, warnings, and advisories. Currently have excessive heat warnings and heat advisories extending all the way from Southern California all the way up to the Canadian border. So seeing widespread heat impacts courtesy of a negatively tilted upper level ridge. So we're going to see widespread highs in the 90s to triple digits across much of the Pacific Northwest, and that extends now through Idaho. So we saw a very warm day yesterday. It was 95 here and up 96 up there in Idaho Falls. So certainly a warm day with some triple digits in the Magic Valley, and we can expect those conditions to continue, which will elevate heat risk concerns, especially the afternoon and through tomorrow. Take a look at the 4 a.m. fire and smoke map. So as you can see, lots of wildfire activity up in the Central Mountains leading to red. So that's unhealthy air quality uh, up near Salmon this morning. And that does expand to unhealthy for sensitive groups across portions of the Central Mountains and more moderate uh, air quality as you get further south. But we will see these you know, fires being able to take off, especially towards this afternoon. Very dry, unstable air mass will lead to rapid fire growth, especially on some of these larger complexes further north. And that risk does have, you know, keeping some increased haze and smoke certainly into wildfire season. Season, so something to keep in mind as you head up to the central mountains, but that smoke and haze will also filter out of the valleys onto the Snake Plain and Magic Valley. So may not see as much near surface impacts through here, but certainly a loft in the atmosphere. Wildfire Roundup. So this is taking a look at all the regional fires. We currently have around 16 active wildfires burning in, C in central Idaho, extending through uh, down to the southern Wood River Valley and up through southwest Montana. Here's a quick update on the names, size, and containment for you. We observed nine lightning strikes in southwest Montana, western Wyoming, and southeast Idaho yesterday. As you see, they had three cloudy ground strikes with a thunderstorm that went over through the Bear Lake area, which produced wind gusts up to around 30 miles an hour with an outflow boundary from a collapsing storm. So something certainly to keep in mind in the higher country. Most of that precipitation will not be reaching the ground, but can't rule out a couple lightning strikes or two, given it a very dry but unstable air mass. So a very dry layer setting up underneath those clouds, but we will have some afternoon cumulus developing over the mountains for this afternoon. Take a look at where we can expect storms today. We're going to have a chance for thunderstorms along the Montana and Wyoming border for this afternoon. And for Thursday, that shifts further south. So we're going to have the chances across the Owyhees extending up through the southern portions of the forecast area. Uh, as far as can't rule out a thunderstorm, again, south and Twin Falls for tomorrow afternoon. Uh, but outside of that, again, chances along the Montana-Wyoming border regions. For Friday, things are looking much different. We're going to have widespread, you know, as far as the chances for some thunderstorms. So starting to see that, you know, monsoon moisture begin to pool up over our area. So we will have the chance for a scattered afternoon convection, especially on Friday. And some of that could lead to some localized flash flooding concerns, given the immense amount of moisture in this air mass. 
Here's a look at your high temperatures and minimum arch for this afternoon. High temperatures will be in the upper 80s to near 100 degrees as you get out towards Shoshone, with critical afternoon humidities well below 15% for much of the forecast area. Heat risk concerns for today are going to be in the 2 to 3 range, so that's moderate to high heat risk for much of the Magic Valley, Snake Plain, and Wood River Valley. And that does extend up further north through some of these other valleys where we will have temperatures in the mid-90s. So as that orange, you know it's a moderate heat risk for those who are sensitive to heat, but as we get towards the high risk, which is the red shown here on the map, that's going to be a high risk for all the population. So certainly a very warm day across southeast Idaho. Afternoon highs will be in about 8 to 12 degrees above normal for this time of year, as afternoon highs typically are going to be in the upper 70s to mid-80s. And here's a look at your heat risk on Thursday. So keeping with the twos and threes across much of the Snake Plain, Magic Valley, and some of our lower elevation valleys, seeing that threat continue, especially in the panhandle for tomorrow. So continued heat impacts will persist through at least Thursday with the cooler temperatures arriving for your Friday and weekend. Speaking of Thursday, here's a look at those temperatures. Have afternoon highs again in the upper 80s to near 100 degrees. So forecast highs, you know, 97 up in Salmon, 97 Pocatello, 100 in Shoshone, 89 up in Island Park. Minimum RH does see slight improvement with some increased cloud cover that's going to be working through ahead of that monsoon moisture arriving for Friday. But outside of that, it's going to be another very dry day on Thursday. Here's a look at your Friday afternoon. So afternoon highs will be in much cooler, cooling by about almost 10 to 12 degrees in some places, uh, with afternoon highs in the 80s to mid-90s as you get up towards the northern portions of the forecast area. Looks like salmon tomorrow will actually, or on Friday, will be the warmest uh, location in southeast Idaho. So certainly something to keep in mind. Warmer air will be trapped up there in the panhandle, extending up through north-central Idaho. But further southeast, we will have more moderate temperatures, given the monsoonal moisture working in, with increased cloud cover and chances for precipitation. Minimum RH does improve, so we're seeing widespread improvement into that 20 to 30 percent during the afternoon, so getting above those critical fire weather levels, but still staying very dry, especially as you get up towards salmon. Here's a take a look at your weekend. So afternoon highs will be overall pleasant in the 80s. Uh, it's looking at a few 90s creaking in there for your Sunday. Further west, out towards Twin Falls, Shoshone, Jerome area. But outside of that, temperatures will be near normal, if not below normal in some locations, uh, with again in the 70s and 80s. Take a look at the WPC. This is looking at rainfall totals for the next seven days. So as you can see, we got the best chance of seeing rain across much of our elevations outside of the Snake Plain and Magic Valley. Can't rule out some thunderstorms, of course, with locally heavy rainfall. So this isn't going to take into account some of those stronger storms that develop that can drop quick amounts of, you know, very heavy rainfall. But just a rough idea on where we can expect, you know, some more widespread coverage uh, for that precipitation chances as we get through the next week. In summer, this morning, we do some hot and very dry weather today. It's going to exasperate heat risk concerns with a heat advisory in effect for the Snake Plain, Magic Valley, South Hills, and Wood River Valley from noon until 9 o'clock tonight. Going to have afternoon highs in the mid-90s to low triple digits with moderate to high heat risk concerns for just about everybody. Be sure to keep hydrated and take extra precautions if headed outdoors. And if you're outside today, going to see those afternoon cumulus developing over the mountains with some isolated virga and showers along our Montana and Wyoming borders. Critical fire weather conditions continue with a dry, unstable air mass supporting, you know, lots of smoke inundation in the area, leading to some poor air quality, especially up towards Custer and Lemhi County, with that haze and smoke beginning to filter out into the Snake Plain throughout the next couple of days. Widespread afternoon humidities will be critical, less than 15%. One saving grace will be that lighter winds, less than 20 miles an hour, but certainly critical fire weather conditions. Monsoon moisture does return for your Friday, with a slight chance for some isolated storms further south on Thursday. But we're seeing that scattered coverage return for Friday through early next week, mostly across the mountains, but can't rule out an isolated storm across our lower elevations. Now our SMB weather briefing for today, Wednesday, August 17th. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to send us an email, give us a call, or check out some information on our website. Have an awesome day.